is invigorating, gives me superhuman energy. I was really sick with chronic fatigue syndrome, and I can immediately feel my immune system starting to work. Chef Marco Canora is a mastermind who cooked up the recipe for Brodo's bone broth. Broth has so many benefits. It's really good for hair, skin, nails. It's also good to rebuild your gut. Instead of tea, instead of coffee, have a cup of delicious, nutritious bone broth. Rethink your hot beverage. Registered dietitian and holistic nutritionist Esther Blum tells her patients to drink bone broth because it's helped her energy. So how does it work to fight fatigue, you think? So, Dr. Oz, bone broth has been my go-to morning elixir every morning because it's hydrating, it's rich in amino acids that are easy to digest and trace minerals, and it also promotes an incredible night's sleep. And there's even research to show that chicken broth actually boosts immune function, so it's a great take-home for immune function. And how much do you have to drink to get the benefit? So I recommend one to two cups a day, and I recommend that you replace your morning coffee with it to energize you throughout the day. And then in the afternoon, around 3 o'clock, when you hit that slump, you have another cup, and you're guaranteed a good night's sleep the next night. Let's take a look at how it's okay. made. This is Esther's recipe. Okay. Again, we don't know a lot about this yet among physicians, but I'm intrigued. I'm seeing these shops pop up a little yeah. bit. So show us how you would make it. Yeah. So this is about the size of my crock pot at home. It's a seven-quart stock pot. And what I do is um, I get three pounds of bones. It can be cow, it can be chicken, it can be oxtail. I love knuckle and neck. And I put them, you can help me out here if you like. I put the bones, there you go, strong man. Put these in, all in, okay? And you're going to uh, put in a quarter cup of this. I do all myself. There you go. <laughs> put in a quarter cup of vinegar. Now, vinegar pulls out the trace minerals from these bones and actually pulls the collagen into the broth. So you want to let that sit there for a good 30 minutes and let it go to work. Just with the vinegar? Just with the vinegar. But the bone's not all underneath the vinegar, just that it's... That's right. And you can, you can rotate them and you can flip them around, but just let them sit there for a good 30 minutes. Then you're going to help me pick up, your arms are longer, pick up the vegetables, pour them in as well. And into that, you're going to put a tablespoon, and you don't even have to cut all these up. You're going to put a tablespoon of sea salt and 16 cups of water, and then you're going to put it on low. We do not want to boil our bone broth because that destroys the incredible collagen molecules in there. Okay, so you're going to cook it overnight at least 19 hours. Now, if you don't have a slow cooker, you can do this on the stovetop low as well. All right. Okay? But, but you don't want it boiling, just not even simmering, just not hot. Not even simmering, just hot. Okay, so... After 19 hours, now you can strain it so it becomes a broth, or you can leave your vegetables in. But you're going to want to, why don't you pour yourself some? This is and real, this take is real. a taste. This is real broth, baby. Take a taste. It's delicious. It should be earthy and smoky and rich. Now, if you want to get a real earthy. I, I used to have this as a kid, by the way. You did, yeah, right? Yeah, they serve this in Turkey. It's very, so it's uh, incredible. Uh, so. Uh, yeah. If you want to get a real smoky flavor, you can also roast the bones ahead of time. So once you're done with the bones, you're going to actually save them, and you're going to reuse them again. Now, three pounds of bones cost about $9. So if you do the math and you use your bones twice, it's less than 50 cents a cup to make it at home. So it's super economical. So you're going to save the bones, store them in a, let them cool, store them in a Ziploc in the freezer. Use them twice. You can use them twice. And I see you strain some bone broth here, but what, why do you have to freeze it? Yeah, well, it keeps fresh in the refrigerator for five days, but if you're going to go longer until you use it, then you're going to store it in mason jars. And this is very um, space-saving in a small New York City or anywhere, a small refrigerator. Or you can use ice cube trays. Now, another great feature of bone broth, if you want to get the nutrition, you can just pop out one or two cubes when you're heating up rice, or, you know, any sauces I like to put in my vegetables when I steam them. So you're constantly getting the nutrition every day. Now, I bet you that uh, when I was a, a child, I was experiencing this because yeah. it's something that's done culturally in Turkey. But actually, this is not a new idea. There are many yeah. cultures in which we're pretty common. So if you don't mind, yeah. walk us through. This looks like chicken soup. So this is a... This is chicken soup. Traditional remedy. Jewish penicillin. My grandmother made this growing up. And um, I like to put in lots of fresh dill to sweeten the deal. And I like to put in fresh parsley, and parsley is just such a great breath freshener and liver supporting nutrient as well. And what's this? And this is Sopa del Lima. It is Yucatan bro bone broth, and it has fresh cilantro. And fresh cilantro binds to metal, so we're 
some wonderful nutrients. The chelator also. The chelator. And then fresh lime juice. Now, what I love about all of these bone broths is they're a blank template. So you never get bored. You can just constantly re-season them any way you want. And so really flavorful. Fine, this is a fresh boule base, I guess. This is fresh boule base, which, again, if you're pescatarian or you just want to break from the richness of the bones, but you want something that is equally nutritious, then you just boil the shells and you get this flavorful, hearty fish broth. And in Turkey, they have they make it from lamb because there are more lamb and sheep than humans in Turkey. <laughs> That's what it looks like, actually, with the, when you actually are served it in a restaurant there. It's called nose to tail. In all there, the little yes. villages, nose to tail. you'd be able to, because you'd be the entire part of the animal. So I want to think about this. In Turkey, they use it as a hangover cure, just keep it in the back of your mind in case you make that mistake. I could see that. So I Esther actually that. went with one of our viewers, uh, Jewel, to help her use bone broth for her fatigue. How are you, Jewel? I'm fine. How are so you? So were, were you skeptical at first? Really? I mean, my husband's from the Caribbean, so she mentioned oxtail, so I'm kind of used to... And how did it work for you, for your energy? It worked good. I mean, uh, it substituted my coffee. I did everything. After I drank it, it did everything for me that my coffee would do. I got rid of fatigue. Um, normally, when I don't drink coffee, I get a headache. I didn't get a headache with this. Um, I was able to function during the day, so I was focused. It was good. Well, I'm very happy we're putting it. Give it a try. We don't know much about it yet, but I'm willing to, you know, experiment a little bit because it's been used in so many cultures for so many years. Thanks, Joel. No Wonderful budget. Thank you.